Hey everyone, me again. If you're new around here, my name's Alice and I make videos all about affordable beauty and fashion. Today I'm filming a working from home makeup look. As you can see, it's really, really minimal. I've used very few products. Obviously when you're working from home, you don't have to wear any makeup at all. I've been working from home for the last five years and most of the time I don't wear makeup. But on the days where I do want to put on some makeup, this is the kind of thing that I would usually do. So I like to even out the skin and then just keep the eyes and lips very, very minimal. So that's what I'm showing you today. I'm also going to be filming a working from home lookbook as well. If you haven't seen that video yet, I will link it in the description box below. Anyway, let's dive in. All right then, let's put some makeup on. So you might be able to get away without using any primer just when you're having a relaxed makeup kind of day. Personally, I like to use a little bit just because my skin is a little bit more on the dry side and I definitely notice a difference in terms of like how smoothly my foundation goes on if I don't use a primer. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Revolution baking oil and I normally blend this out with my fingertips and that's absolutely fine. But recently I've been kind of dabbing it on with a brush instead. And I do get through a bit more product when I do it this way, but if you have really sensitive skin, it can kind of help if you just don't want to be touching your face as much. Normally I'm obsessed with colour correctors. I have a lot of skin redness, as you can see, and I also have some darker tones under my eyes as well. So when I'm doing a really perfected makeup routine, I will absolutely use a green colour corrector all over my face and something a bit more pink under my eyes. Today I'm going to skip that completely. So today I'm just going to go straight into foundation and I'm going to start off with a BB cream. This is from Kiko. This is their Daily Protection SPF 30 in the shade 1. I really really love this. I love the finish it gives. It's very dewy, very moisturising, very forgiving on the skin. And I'm just doing this with a brush. Again, this is something you can put on with your fingers but I'm trying not to use my hands to do larger parts of my face at the moment just because my skin is a bit sensitive. You can also use a sponge for this as well but I find that when I do that there's almost no coverage, like it's pretty sheer already. But when I use a sponge like the coverage just completely disappears. So I'm just putting this everywhere, all over my face, even over my eyes as well. I'm not really fussed about like priming my eyes properly or anything like that for looks like this. In terms of coverage, this isn't actually doing that bad of a job. I think if I had better skin and I didn't have like larger patches of redness on my cheeks and stuff, I'd be really happy to just wear this on its own. It's a really, really nice product. So like I said, if I had better skin, I would just leave it there, but I don't. So I am just gonna take a little bit of the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick in the shade 07N. This is a bit darker than the BB cream, so it's gonna be much easier just to cover those stubborn areas of redness. It's also got a bit more coverage to it as well. So I'm just going to dot this just on the more flushed areas of my face and then just blend it out with my usual sponge from AOA. I'm also going to put a bit of this down my neck as well and that will really help to just darken up my neck a bit because my neck is looking a lot lighter than my face recently. Normally I like to use a few different concealers when I'm doing my makeup, so I'll use a creamy one under my eyes and then something more matte over my blemishes. But for more minimal routines, I just like to use one. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 05. It's a really good all-rounder. It does a pretty good job of everything. And the shade is really nice for brightening up the face as well. So I'm just going to put a bit under the eyes and then gently fuse it out just so I really brighten the area without too much product. And then I'm also going to use a bit of this around my nose and around the centre of my face as well. So my skin doesn't look perfect but it looks pretty good just for a working from home kind of look. I have a feeling it probably looks quite decent on camera because studio lights are just the best thing ever. I can still see a bit of redness coming through but it doesn't really matter. A look like this is never going to turn out flawless, it's never going to be completely perfect. It's just about looking a little bit more polished. So I'm going to add a little bit of blush. Green blush actually works really nicely for a look like this when everything's quite glowy and dewy. This is the blush that's in my project pan. This is the Kiko Velvet Touch Blush in the shade 08. So I don't like to draw it straight on my face, instead I kind of do it on the back of my hand and then I kind of smush it into a brush and just do it this way. And I usually like to take my foundation sponge and just kind of fuse it all together. 
So I'm pretty much done with the cream products now so I can set my face and I'm actually going to use a matte powder but I'm going to use it very very sparingly so a bit of the glow still comes through but it will still set down any areas that I don't want to move around. So this is the Maybelline Matte Maker in shade 10 Classic Ivory and I'm using a fairly small brush for this and I'm just going to use this quite sparingly. So I'm really just focusing this down the centre of my face like my nose and my chin and my forehead, just areas where I don't want my face to be too shiny and for the makeup to break down. So I do just want to add a little bit more definition to my face, but I don't want to use contour. I find that when I use contour, I really, really need a perfected base, like a solid medium to full coverage. Otherwise, things just look a bit weird. So, so when my base isn't quite as perfected, I do prefer to use a bronzer. So I'm going to use this one from AliExpress today. And I'm not going to be too precise or anything, but I'm just going to try and do like a three on either side of my face. And I'm going to build this up quite generously on my neck as well as my neck is still looking a bit pale. And I'm also going to use a little bit on a smaller brush just to frame the eyes a little bit as well. So I'm just putting that on the crease and then smoking it out. So I've recently dyed my eyebrows, which I highly recommend if you want to either save some time when you're doing your makeup on a daily basis or if you're like me and your eyebrows are naturally invisible. I actually have a video and a blog post all about how I dye my eyebrows, so I'll leave the link to all of that stuff in the description box. But anyway, because I've done that fairly recently, I don't really need to do too much to my eyebrows, so I might even be able to get away with just using an eyebrow pencil. So I'm just going to use my usual one from NYX. This is their micro brow pencil in taupe. Sometimes I use a tinted brow gel after this, like the one from Essence, which I love and use in a lot of my videos. Today, I think I'll be able to get away without. I'm going to skip highlighter just because I feel like there's so much glow going on in my base already that I don't really need it. But I am just going to set the face. You obviously don't need to set your makeup at all, especially if you're not leaving the house, but I personally just always like to do this no matter what makeup routine I'm doing, just because I have dry skin and I find it really helps everything kind of come together. So I'm just using the nearest one. This is from Revolution Pro. This is their Supreme Hold Finishing Spray. I'm going to keep my eyes really, really minimal today, so I'm just going to curl my lashes and add a few coats of the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara in Intense Black. I don't really use any eyeliner or anything like that for routines like this. That's just my personal preference. And then finally, I'm just going to add a little bit of lip color. When I'm working from home, I really like to just go for a tinted lip balm and recently I've been reaching for the Maybelline Baby Lips in Cherry Me. This feels really lovely and nourishing on the lips and it just adds a nice pop of colour. This is probably one of the quickest makeup tutorials I have ever filmed, but when it comes to working from home and doing minimal makeup, I just don't really feel the need to make the looks as perfected as I normally do and therefore I use a lot less products and it takes a lot less time. So I really hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and watching this look come together. Let me know in the comment section down below what you prefer when it comes to makeup. Do you like your looks to be a bit more minimal or do you go all out or are you more like me? Do you do a bit of both? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and that's everything from me. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.